Don't do this when entering debit card transactions in QuickBooks. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And hey, if you haven't checked it out yet, check out the master class at the QuickBooks University. I put a link uh, in the first comment down below. It's a pinned comment. And uh, the master class basically is going to walk you through the four steps you need to take to learn QuickBooks very, very quickly. Okay. So don't do this when you enter debit card transactions in QuickBooks. This question came up from a member this week and it got me thinking a little bit. Uh, they were talking about, you know, entering credit card charges and how to, you know, also reconcile the bank account and when those credit card charges are going to hit the account. So it got me thinking a little bit that there is a huge difference between a debit card and a credit card. Okay, so a debit card transaction is linked directly to your bank account. So it is uh, basically spending your cash. A credit card is a liability, meaning it is a debt that you owe to the credit card company. And there's two different ways. There's different ways for each one of those, a debit card and a credit card transaction. You wanna make sure you do not confuse the two of those. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is if, you know, you need to make sure that, okay, when I have a debit card transaction, it's going to hit the bank account and it's going to show up in my bank account reconciliation. When I do a credit card transaction, it is on the credit card. It's a debt that I owe to the credit card company and it's going to show up in my credit card reconciliation. Okay, so if you have a debit card transaction and you go to, let's say, you know, the, some office supply store, let's say Staples, and you spend 50 bucks and it comes directly out of your checking account. What you want to do is go to this button right here, check register. Okay, we're going to say checking and you'll see all the transactions here. So you first put in the date. Now for the number, this confuses people and they say, okay, well, it's a check number. You see this transaction right above it. You can put in debit. You can put in um, EFT. You can put in anything other than a check number to signify that this was a debit card transaction. So we'll say Staples. They are not a vendor that's in here. So I'm going to do a quick add. Okay. And we're going to say $50. And then we're going to put it to the account office supplies and we save it. We just record. So now when we do our check account, checking account reconciliation, that $50 expense that came out of our checking account is going to show up. That is a debit card transaction. Now, if you're doing a credit card transaction, you're going to go here, enter credit card charges. Now, what a lot of people do is they have the bank feed set up and the same with the checking account and they will basically bring in these transactions electronically. That's totally fine. But you want to make sure that it goes to the appropriate account, whether it's checking or a credit card. So if there's a credit card purchase, you can do the same thing. You say, let's say it's Staples 1215. You don't need a reference number. You can put that in if you want to. And we're going to put in 50, okay? And it goes to office supplies. So that is a credit card transaction. So now when we go to reconcile the credit card, it's going to show up on our reconciliation screen. Okay, so the big thing, the big takeaway here, make sure you recognize the difference between a debit card transaction and a credit card transaction. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in the next video.